Hello, this is Sarah Brush. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I want to do um, a quick video. Tomorrow is the primary for the special election in Minnesota, in the first congressional district in Southern Minnesota. And um, as most of you probably already know, Richard Painter, is a University of Minnesota law professor, former White House ethics lawyer, if you can believe it. And he's running for that seat. He is has been campaigning for a number of months and the primary for the special election is tomorrow in Minnesota. And I am begging everyone, do not vote for Richard Painter. Do not vote for him. Vote against him, please. He is patently, completely, and entirely unfit to serve in any public office, let alone serve in Congress, in the U.S. Congress, as a representative, as a U.S. Congressman. And he he cannot serve in this position. He's completely unfit. And how do I know that he's unfit? Well, as most of you probably already know, he has waged a now eight month Twitter terror campaign against me to destroy my life, to get me fired, to get me expelled, to get me disbarred. He's been harassing and badgering Minnesota Attorney General, General Keith Ellison to, uh, to prosecute my GoFundMe as fraud, as a fraud. He, it's just, and I'm sure that, especially if you don't, if you aren't aware of what's been happening, this seems insane, right? This seems completely crazy that someone who is a law professor at the University of Minnesota, that someone who is a public figure, that someone who has almost a million Twitter followers, that someone who is a former White House ethics lawyer, that someone who, you know, is running for a, a seat in the U.S. Congress to represent the first congressional district um, in Minnesota, the southern, uh, southern Minnesota, and so all of this must just seem like completely insane, right? And it is, it's completely insane. And um, my hand's just getting a little tired, so I think I'll just hold it with two hands or I'll be okay. And so it's completely insane. He, he is, what he is doing is evil. It's insane, it's monstrous, it's surreal. It's surreal that this is happening to me. I am a private citizen nobody. I am a lifelong human and civil rights attorney and activist. I was working on my PhD at Yale. All I wanted to do, the only thing I wanted in the whole world, the only thing I have ever wanted is to be left alone and in peace to complete my Saving the World project, my Yale PhD dissertation. So you're thinking why on earth is a public figure who's running for a seat in Congress in the United States Congress, why on earth is this person, Richard Painter, waging a now eight month Twitter terror campaign to drive me to suicide, to destroy what remains of my life? It's insanity, it's insanity, it's evil and it's insanity. So most of you probably already know that Richard Painter, I didn't even know back in September of 2021, I didn't even know who Richard Painter was. I had no idea who Richard Painter was and I couldn't care less who Richard Painter was. Painter was. And then I just realized that he had been attacking me, viciously attacking me for a number of days. And so I tried to figure out what on earth is going on? Why is this person, who, I have no idea who this person even is. Why are they viciously attacking me? So I went and looked and then I discovered that uh, Richard Painter began viciously attacking me 
in mid-September 2021 because he has a personal vendetta for some reason against Brian Leiter. Brian Leiter is a wonderful person. He is a University of Minnesota, I mean University of Minnesota, excuse me, University of Chicago uh, law and philosophy professor. And he has been one of my guardian angels. I, of course, um, the entirely innocent victim of the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale, the witch hunt at Yale from back in May of 2018. So I've been living in a hellish nightmare for over four years now. And Brian Leiter has been a true friend to me, a guardian angel to me. He has been so wonderful to me. He, you know, has steadfastly stood by my side throughout this hellish nightmare I've been living in and supported me and I just can't say enough good things about him. So Richard Painter has some sort of weird, sick, twisted, delusional, personal vendetta, obsessive personal vendetta against Brian Leiter. This is the reason why Richard Painter began viciously attacking me in September of 2021. So I stood up for myself and Brian stood up for me and I stood up for me and I fought back. And I just don't think that Richard Painter ever thought that I was going to stand up for myself, that I was going to defend myself. I think he thought that I was just a piece of poor white trash, worthless nothing. And he thought that he could just abuse me, destroy me, destroy my life, get me killed, drive me to suicide, incite my murder. He just thought that he could just do these things to me because he viewed me as a, as a subhuman, because he viewed me as worthless and my life is expendable. And so he didn't think twice about, you know, um, attacking, viciously attacking and already traumatized and suicidal woman on Twitter and, you know, very likely driving me to suicide. And I did. I almost killed myself a bunch of times during Richard Painter's entire terror campaign against me that has now been going on for eight months. I'm, I'm better now. I'm stronger now. But honestly, um, I, I almost killed myself a number of times. This is also the reason why I didn't complete my PhD dissertation and graduate in the fall of 2021 was because of Richard Painter's terror campaign against me. And it's, it's just, it's out of control. So Richard Painter just he was so incensed that I dared, that I had the temerity, the audacity to defend myself against him, to stand up for him, from him, up to him, and that I was publicly documenting his entire terror campaign against me to drive me to suicide. I just started publicly documenting everything uh, on my blog, on my YouTube, um, on Twitter, everywhere. And so he, this just made him, this, he just made him enraged. And so he just kept escalating and escalating and escalating his attacks on me. Um, it, it was, it's insane the things that he has, he has accused me of, how he has defamed me. He's compared me to Hitler. He's compared me to um, Ahmaud Arbery's killers repeatedly. He's compared me to Hitler repeatedly. He's accused me of trying to lynch black students at Yale. He, um, like I said, badgered uh, Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison into prosecuting my GoFundMe for fraud. Um, he has targeted my GoFundMe. He defamed me in an MSNBC op-ed where he targeted my GoFundMe. He threatened to swat me. He threatened to call the police and tell them that I had a gun that I was going to use, which is something that has happened to me repeatedly over the years, including very recently I was swatted again. I believe that it was Yale, the Yale administration that swatted me this last time that I was swatted. Um, and the Las Vegas Police Department showed up on my doorstep. Thankfully, they they know me now. Obviously, they know me very well because I get swatted all the time. And so it's just like, 
this entire terror campaign of Richard Painter's, he just wants to destroy me. This is why I, I refer to him, amongst many others, of course, as the woke KKK, because he wants to impose a grossly dis disproportionate sentence of social death or suicide on me to get me to kill myself or to incite someone else to kill me. And, and this is for an utter non-event and non-crime from more than four years ago now. And, and so it's just, it's, it's insane. It's, it's, it's surreal. I'm, I'm living inside of a hellish nightmare. Someone who's running for Congress, a public figure with almost a million Twitter followers has literally been waging an eight month Twitter terror campaign against me. Um, and I've been publicly documenting everything. I've publicly documented the entire thing. And he just, he just isn't gonna stop. He just isn't gonna stop attacking me until I'm dead. So anyway, so this video, what I really, really want to say is do not vote for Richard Painter. I do not believe he's going to win. I don't believe that he thinks he's going to win. Because if he thought he had a chance, a single chance, any chance at all of winning, I don't think he will, he would have resumed his terror campaign against me because he actually stopped for a couple months. He stopped in the lead up to the beginning of his campaign for this congressional seat, this Minnesota US congressional seat. He stopped attacking me for a couple months and then he just started up again out of the blue. And I believe very strongly that the reason why he started up getting out of the blue is because he realized he doesn't, he doesn't have a single chance. He doesn't have a hope in hell of being able to, you know, win this seed. And so that's why he just decided that it didn't matter anymore, that he wasn't going to pretend like he wasn't a vicious, woke KKK monster who abuses and terror, terrorizes already traumatized and suicidal women on Twitter for sport. He didn't see any reason to bother denying that anymore because he knows he's going to lose this election. And thank goodness, because it's completely unfit to serve in public office. And, um, and so that's why I believe that he resumed his terror campaign against me very, you know, relatively recently. And also he has raised almost no money. He, it's a joke. He's raised $36,000 for a U.S. congressional campaign. $36,000. That's nothing. And he was attacking my GoFundMe, and I've raised $20,000 on my GoFundMe, and I have just over 3,000 Twitter followers, and I'm a social pariah and a private citizen nobody. <laughs> And I've been in hiding to save my life for more than three years, et cetera, et cetera, right? My lifelong human and civil rights, academic and legal careers have been decimated. And I was able to raise $20,000 towards my legal fund, towards restoring due process and equal protection at Yale and everywhere. And to save my life and career also, of course, and to end woke KKK cancel culture and trial by Twitter without due process. So I, I, I joked that I, I think maybe, uh, maybe Richard Painter has been viciously attacking me and trying to get me deplatformed and unpersoned and trying to get me kicked off of all of my social media and fundraising sites, um, that are my lifeline that are sustaining me and keeping me alive. And, um, maybe he's doing it cause he's jealous. He's jealous that really I've raised almost as much money as him and he has almost a million Twitter followers and he's a public figure and he has a platform on MSNBC. I have none of those things. Like I'm the last person who should be able to raise any money at all. But I love all of the beautiful people who have donated to my legal fund. It means the absolute world to me. So I joked that 
I think maybe maybe Richard Painter's been resumed attacking me recently because because he's jealous of my fundraising ability. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so Richard Painter is a buffoon, but he, he's an evil buffoon. He's a heartless, soulless buffoon, and he needs to not be in public office. He's He's unfit, in my opinion, even to be a law professor. And he just is, it's unhinged. His tirades, not just against me, his obsessive stalking, not just of me, but of Brian Leiter, of John Lott Jr., who is another former University of Chicago affiliate, which makes me wonder if he has some sort of like weird vendetta against the University of Chicago. Um, it's just, it's bizarre. His behavior is bizarre. But obviously it was very damaging to me, very traumatic for me. Like now I feel much stronger. And the reason why I feel much stronger now is because I've realized that they're impotent. Richard Painter and his goons can't actually hurt me. Sure, they got me kicked off Twitter for a little while, but now I'm back on Twitter and now Elon Musk is buying Twitter. So that should be okay. GoFundMe has been amazing. They have stood by my side this entire time. I get constantly, I have to, GoFundMe has to like release a hold because the hold is sort of like automated because I'm my GoFundMe is constantly getting mass reported. And then um, and then GoFundMe has to release the hold. And GoFundMe has been just amazing to me, just absolutely amazing to me. And I love them forever. And if you need to raise funds, you should use GoFundMe because they're wonderful. They've been wonderful to me and I love them so much. So basically I'm just saying that Richard Painter needs to retire from public life. Okay, because he is he is unfit to be a law professor. He is unfit to serve in the US Congress for sure. And he's just, he's an evil monster. He's an evil monster and he's not going to stop attacking me, a private citizen nobody until I'm dead because now I'm the still living, breathing, walking, talking proof that he's a lying bigot and charlatan and fraud. And so, yeah, so that's basically what's been going on. So I just wanna say, do not vote for Richard Painter tomorrow. Please, I'm counting on the people of Minnesota. I know, I know I'm from Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota, born and raised. And I know that the people of Minnesota are too smart and have too much common sense to elect a monster like Richard Painter to represent them in the US Congress. I know that. Okay, I'm gonna stop so this, e so this email, so this video doesn't get too long. Um, I'll have all of my fundraising links below. Please donate to my legal fund. Please subscribe, like, share, comment on this YouTube video. And I love you all so much. Have a great night.